Invest in yourself. It's a new year and it's time for a new you. It's time for you to invest in yourself. Hi, I'm Lisa Dixon and welcome to Divorce TV. Today we're going to be talking about investing in your finances. So one of the first things I want you to do is think about where are you at with your divorce? Have you finished? Are you in the middle? Are you at the end? And what do you want to get out of it? Do you want the house? Do you want the cash? Are you looking at the parenting plan? All of those types of things are really important in terms of investing in your finances. The second thing I want you to have a think about is I want you to think about the contributions that have been made during your divorce. So whether you've made them or whether your ex has made them, list them all out. Have a look at all the financial contributions. Maybe you've paid all the school fees. Maybe you've paid all the rent. Maybe you've paid for all the clothes for everyone. Those are really, really important because you can use them in mediation. Number three, I want you to have a look at your balance sheet. You're going to need it for your divorce anyway, but having your balance sheet is really important for taking stock of financially, where are you at right now? So you need a balance sheet. You need to know what are all your assets? Do you have a car? Do you have some stocks, some shares? Do you have your pension plan? All of those things, where are you at right now? And the most important thing when you're looking at investing in your finances is where do you want to be? So you take stock of where you are now and where do you want to be? Do you want to buy a new house? Do you want to rent a new place and take the children there? Do you want to travel overseas? Do you want to move overseas? Those are all really important aspects of your financial plan. And most importantly, I want you to think about your future needs. What do you need? What do the children need? What will you need in one year? What will you need in five years? And what will you need in 10 years? Now, I know that sounds really, really quite scary, but when you sit down with a cuppa, with a glass of wine, have a think about that. One year, five years, and 10 years. So taking stock of your financial future, invest in your finances, invest in where you want to be, and you'll be a much better person for it. Have a look on my website, divorcetv.tv. There's plenty of tips, there's plenty of free downloads all about your financial situation. I'm Lisa Dixon. Thanks for joining me. Bye.